Find the mass m and center of mass x bar of the linear wire covering the given interval and having the given density delta. So we're told our wire is on the interval between one and two on the x-axis. And its density function delta is eight over x cubed. We're gonna find the center of mass using these two formulas established in class. The moment about the origin, which is the integral from e to b, and in this case, one to two of x times the density function delta x dx. So we can go on and set that one up. We'll be integrating from one to two, x times the density function, which simplifies nicely. See, that's gonna be eight over x squared. I'm gonna go on and write that as eight times x to the minus second. Do you know what? Let's go on and find m sub zero, m naught, the moment about the origin. We'll go on and find an antiderivative. Adding one to the exponent would give me a x to the minus one, making this a minus eight out front. And we need to evaluate from one to two. Oh, so let's see, I have a minus eight over a two is a minus four, plus, minus a minus eight. The moment about the origin is four. Oh, it'd be nice to have some units here, but we weren't given units in this problem, but we could assume that, you know, or pretend that this was in centimeters and then uh, the, and the mass was in grams and then these, this would actually be in centimeter grams. Well, let's find the total mass of the system now. So we're, again, we're going to integrate from one to two. This time of the just the density function, 8x squared, excuse me, 8x cubed dx. All right, again, we'll just find an antiderivative here. And again, we're evaluating from one to two. Oh, well, let's see, that would be a minus four divided by a positive four is minus one, minus a minus four, and we get three. All right, well, our center of mass x bar is m naught divided by the total mass, so here we have four over three. We had a thin wire that went from one to two on the x-axis, and we just found out that the center of mass is at one, and one third, so much closer to the left-hand side than the right-hand side. Well, looking at the density function, as x increases from one to two, the density is decreasing. There's more weight on the left-hand side, moving the center of mass from the middle closer to that end. All right, there's our nice, happy center of mass. In the next video, we're gonna calculate the center of mass of the thin plate described in number 24 here.